The big fear, though, is that this will give way to a new arms race. Secretary Pompeo was asked about that, and I want to share what he said. They have begun to move towards what it is that risk you actually have just identified. Uh, and you heard me this morning. We'll continue to have conversations with them. We hope they'll come back into compliance. If you just have one party to a treaty complying, you're, you're down the path that you described. Does Secretary Pompeo have a point? Well, the treaty compliance is important, and that's certainly the instigating factor. But overall, we have a president right now who himself does not see a problem with having a vast array of nuclear weapons. In fact, he's stated several times publicly, What's, why do we have nuclear weapons if we're not using them? Um, he's been very frank about Saudi Arabia getting nuclear weapons and having no issue. And he's even recently said that North Korea, eh, they'll likely get weapons. So he deals with nuclear weapons in a very cavalier way. He also has this association with Putin, several one-on-one -on -one meetings where we don't know what's discussed. So it seems that there may actually be a broader Russia agenda to use Donald Trump to advance Russia's nuclear interests. Wait, wait, wait. One more time. Walk me through this. So Putin and Donald Trump have had several one-on-one -on -one meetings where we don't know what's been discussed. Donald Trump has known the entire time that Russia has been in violation of this treaty. Donald Trump has also had a very cavalier attitude towards nuclear weapons himself. I think it certainly meets Putin's objective to have a, a Trump administration and a White House that is not as concerned about nuclear threats and negotiating within the context of a treaty framework. Um, this is all playing into Putin's hands for how he wants to be the leader in Europe. you agree with that? No, I don't agree with that.